Yeah? Yeah. Uh, my number five is a game called Sky Force 2014 uh, on iOS. I played it on an iPad. Um, it's a remake of a game that came out in 2004 on old phones, so pre-iOS, I think, pre-smartphones. Okay. It was like a really early and very, very uh, revered uh, phone game. Um, this is a really good-looking shooter, and at first it looks so good that it was almost as if my iPad was a sheet of glass and I was looking at physical objects moving underneath it. Um, but as well as being almost photo photorealistic, it's also kind of chunky and cherubic in the way that things made for children are. Everything just kind of right. look, looks a little fat, uh, unnaturally chubby, you know, to try and make them a bit more amiable for kids. But, uh, maybe. Yeah. Um, it controls like most games of this type with you holding your finger over the ship, which fires automatically. Um, and there is a surprisingly nice feeling system where you uh, you pick up hostages. You see a hostage and you just hold your finger over it and a dial turns for a second or two. Um, and with tiny movements you can still dodge fire while also picking up the hostage. I don't know, it feels really nice. Um, also, I don't know whether it's new, um, but if you rem the second you pull your finger off the screen, the game slows down to like hyper slow motion. So it's both a really handy pause button, and it allows you to remove and replot your finger if the game gets confused uh, without penalising. Without penalising, you know. I thought that was a really neat thing. Uh, and this is an interesting game uh, in terms of structure because it's an RPG style grind, basically, where you have to build up all of your ship's attributes over time uh, until your ship is just a, basically a bit of a monster. And it closely resembles the traditional free-to-play model. So I was kind of baffled during the game's opening hour when I couldn't find a way of paying for money. You know, paying money, sorry. You know, that you earn stars, you buy things with the stars. And there's even cooldown timers. When you buy things before they deploy... Um, there's this ticker going on, is it, do you want to speed it up? Use stars. And yet there is no place to buy stars. Uh, except there is. Uh, for some reason, and this may be a work of mad genius on the developer's part, the microtransactions are invisible until you've played for a certain period of time. So this is actually a little bit of a difficult one um, because the controls are ever so slightly sluggish, especially in if you compare it to those cave ports on iOS. Uh, your ship doesn't move anywhere near as fast as your finger. Um, but that minor caveat aside, it's pretty excellent. Um, and there is a way, despite the fact that microtransactions are kind of inserted into it covertly after you've played for an hour or so, mm. there is a way by buying a certain sort of booster pack that you can basically pay for the game outright. Um, you know, I, I'm not as happy with this business model as I am with the one of, say, Phoenix HD, which is another top-down shooter up on iOS, in which the game's free, but you buy new ships, but the ships fundamentally and completely change the game. It's like you're paying for m new modes as well as new ships, but... It would be remiss of me to do anything other than rave about this game because it is free and if you want to buy it outright you basically can for less than a fiver. Mm. Um, it's excellent. It's another it, it's well in addition to Phoenix HD I was trying to there are a couple of others as well but Sky Force 2014 it's a really really excellent top down old school shooter that's it looks tremendous feels great. Um, yeah, re re like highly recommended. I kind of wish you would be able to pay for it. But, but that's the thing. If you want to pay for it outright, you basically can.